Okay, here we have a Gen 1 Prius. Warning lights on. You see this? P3009 leak detected. So what we're gonna do is test to see whether um, the leak is inside the battery or in the transmission or what. So what I'm gonna do is turn this car key on, so not ready on, and then erase all of the codes. I can't see very well because so I'm looking through my camera. Okay. Yes, yeah, so erase all codes. It's gonna say problem resolved. Uh, so we're gonna sit here. It is 8.48. So we'll wait for about 60 seconds and see if the code resets. Um, you know, which means the red triangle would return and so on and so forth. It doesn't set, um, let's say by 8.50, then I'm going to ready the car, so, you know, crank, and then put the car into neutral and wait another 60 seconds um, and see if the code resets. The idea is that in neutral um, the car will have voltage from the high voltage battery to the inverter but not from the inverter down into the transmission. So in each step of the way you're trying to isolate where the leak is coming from. Similarly right now with the car ready off the main relays in the battery are um, closed, um, excuse me, are open so there is no voltage coming out of the battery even though the car is on. So if the red triangle was to return right now, we would know that the leak was internal to the high voltage battery because high voltage isn't anywhere else but inside the battery. This car, uh, we actually put a high voltage battery in about three months ago and it went to the dealership and um, it has this code P3009 so we're very interested to see where the leak is coming from. If it's inside the battery, then obviously it's a warranty issue, but if it's coming somewhere else, it's um, it's not. So it's 8.50, we've got over 60 seconds. I'm gonna go ahead and ready the car, and then I'm gonna shift into neutral fairly quickly before it's going to be running the test. So here I am in neutral. I'll put the um, e-brake on. So again, we'll wait another 60 seconds or so, maybe until it says 8.52. This is going to be a lengthy video, but um, at least without any editing it won't seem like I'm clearing codes and, and cutting um, video together to hide the fact that it's got a code or a leak somewhere else. This is a um, really easy test that anyone can do. You don't need a scan tool. I mean, obviously, it's helpful to have the scan tool to know what code it is. But you can disconnect the, high vo um, the uh, low voltage 12 volt battery to clear codes and then run this exact same test yourself. Um, there are times when the leak is intermittent, which is typically because it's inside the battery, but um, there will be times when it won't set right away and if the code doesn't set right away in each of these um, stages then there's no way to say for sure where it's coming from it has to be predictable and reproducible so we're at 851 I'm going obviously over 60 seconds but then I know for sure that I've at least covered one minute That'd be a pretty boring video just staring at this dashboard, I'm sorry. You can't really see very well either because this is overexposed. But. All right, 8.52. Okay, so it doesn't really matter where you go, whether you go into park or drive or reverse, it doesn't matter. At this point, high voltage is going past the IGBTs, the transistors inside of the inverter, and reaching the transmission. So again, I'm going to wait 60 seconds. Um, and actually, it's going to take less less time than that for this to set. Bingo. Uh, so the code has reset, and it has done so right away. Um, and this is not obviously the first time I've run this test on this car, which is why I'm taking a video. 
Uh, so if I refresh um, my health check here, uh, I'm going to be able to see that the same code has returned, and it's returned um, in park, not key on or in neutral, and therefore the leak is quite likely inside the transmission. And at that point we would confirm with a mega ohm meter, um, but certainly this is not a problem as a result of the high voltage battery that we put in. Let's see if we can see here, I'll check. There we go, P3009. It's really hard to see. Oh, here it is, so. Invisible.